Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and the December 2022 security update and Pixel feature drop is finally here for the Google Pixel devices. This is supported on the Pixel 4a, 4a 5g, all the way up to the latest Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro that I'm using here. Now this is a fairly large update compared to the previous updates. It came in at 471 megabytes on the Pixel 7 Pro and took over an hour to install. So it took a very long time to install for me. So let's first talk about what's new. And the first thing is there's three new curated culture wallpapers. Just like we get every month, we have some new ones here. So if we go into our wallpaper, you'll see three of them here and you can learn more about them. Tap the eye. This one's called a daydream unmasked. And then you can see each one individually if you want to go back in and take a look at them. So I'll just go into them briefly and then you can see what they look like. Of course, you can check this out on your own as well, and you can set those if you'd like to. Now, Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro specifically now get the Google VPN pre-installed for free. So the VPN that can come installed with Google Fi VPN, you could pay for this, but if you have Google Fi, it can be included. If you don't, it's now free with Pixel 7 and Pixel Pro at no extra cost. So that's something that's a little bit new. Within the notification shade with our different quick settings toggles, they now have nice animations. If we turn on the flashlight, you'll see the little animation here as I turn it on and off. You can see that there. The same is true for most of these different quick settings. So battery share, if I turn it on, you'll see the little arrow move there, turn it back off and it just goes back to normal. Again, battery saver, you'll see little electrons flowing or little plus signs there for positive and turn it back off and it shuts off. So it's a nice little update, something small, but something really nice that they've refined. If we go into settings, and within settings, go down to privacy within privacy, scroll down a little bit. And we now have a new option to show media on lock screen to quickly resume playback. Media player stays open on the lock screen. You can turn that off now if you'd like to. Also, if we go back under our display settings within display settings, we have at the bottom here, screen protector mode. They've renamed increased touch sensitivity to screen protector mode. You may have already seen this, but most devices are now showing a screen protector mode as the new name. Again, within settings, if we scroll down and we go to sound and vibration, scroll down, you'll see a new option for clear calling. This is on the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro, and it can reduce the background noises of not just your calls, but people you're actually talking to as well. So if we enable that, it says clear calling is available depending on your Wi-Fi and mobile network connection. Content from your call is not sent to Google. So it clarifies the overall sound, eliminating a lot of background noise. Now within settings, another thing you might see is under security and privacy. On many phones, these are starting to become combined. I'm not seeing this yet. You should have an option to scan within security and privacy. Currently they're separated for me, so they're not combined. Other people are seeing them combined. So maybe I'll see that in the future, but it doesn't appear to be on this update for me, despite being on the latest update. So under system update, you can see I already have the Android security update for December 5th. So maybe it will just show up later within the recorder app. We get a major update as well. That will be super helpful. It can now label speakers. So it will identify people that are speaking with different tones in their voice and then leave breaks so you can actually label them. So if we start to record now and it's transcribing what we say, if someone else starts to speak, when I stop, it will actually begin to label that person and allow you to know it's someone different speaking so that you can go back and more accurately find what people are saying. So I think this is a great update and hopefully works really well, although it's just me speaking. So you won't see that break here. If you're tracking your sleep, it will now actually recognize coughing and snoring on Pixel 6 and 6 Pro where it wouldn't on those devices before. Also, grammar checking is now available in Gboard in French, in addition to Spanish and English, as it was before. And Live Translate can now translate texts in your messaging apps, both sent and received in five more languages, Arabic, Persian, Swedish, Vietnamese, and Danish. Additionally, voice message transcriptions and messages is now supported on Pixel 4a and 4. So that's great, 4a and newer. Now, aside from all of the different feature updates I mentioned, there were a few mentioned the other day as far as digital car keys that have been added. That was a few days ago, as well as winter combo Gboard and emoji updates. 
a reading mode, Google photo collage editor updates and more, but those aren't specific to this pixel feature drop. However, there's an update to battery. So let's go into battery in our settings. We'll go down to battery and then battery usage. And within the battery usage, we can now see up to seven days of usage. We could only see about 24 hours before. So now we can see each day and see what's using most of our battery on the day by day basis where we just couldn't see this before. So that's great. We're getting more and more information. In addition to the updates Google has provided with the pixel feature drop, we also have 77 total bug fixes, changes, and improvements. And if we go into Google's website here, you can see many of them on their notes and I'll leave a link to this in the description so you can check them out as there's many to go over. We'll just cover a few here. Additionally, we'll talk about security updates in a moment, but for apps, they've fixed playback errors in video content. Also, they've enhanced background app performance. As far as audio, they've updated USB audio support with improvements depending on the cable type. They've also updated improvements for audio codecs altogether. They've also enhanced quite a bit for battery and charging. You'll see there's about six different changes here. One of them is general improvements for charging battery usage or thermal performance in certain conditions, and also a fix for higher battery usage. So this should get even better battery life. When it comes to biometrics, again, they've fixed quite a few issues. One is fixed for occasionally causing audio to skip when playing over certain Bluetooth devices or accessories. They've also fixed an issue occasionally delaying when fingerprint icon is displayed on the screen itself. They've fixed quite a few Bluetooth bugs, so this should help with general improvements as far as performance and even finding devices. You'll see a bunch of them here. They've enhanced overall camera stability. They've fixed crashes while zooming or in switching modes. Also there's graphic fixes as well. So with the display, the always on display flicker has been fixed. They've also fixed touch responsiveness and performance has been improved. They've also updated issues that they were having with notifications where they were displaying different colors than the system theme. So if you theme them, they were displaying the wrong colors sometimes when you had notifications come in. They've also fixed the tap to wake and raise. So sometimes that wouldn't pop up properly. Now it's working properly. And also the fingerprint sensor seems to be nice and fast. And they've also fixed some of the system where the stability in general has been improved. So it's always great to see these huge enhancements to everything overall. And that also includes device thermal performance, which has been improved. That goes along with the battery and charging and also fixed network connectivity with stability improvements. So tons of things here where they fixed an issue, occasionally preventing the hotspot from turning on in certain conditions and much more animation improvements and on and on and on. So it's incredible as far as what they fixed in this update and told us that they've actually fixed that. As far as security updates, well, there's over 150 of them total, depending on Android or pixel updates. So tons of different security updates as well. And again, I'll link that in the description. And as we scroll down, you'll see on the security website, again, tons of different changes, everything from media framework system and on and on and on. And so should you install the latest pixel updates? Well, for the pixel features alone, absolutely. And 150 security features alone or updates, I would definitely install it. They've got battery improvements, performance improvements, thermal improvements, and everything else you could pretty much want at this point. Everything seems to be nice and fast. And after the install, I noticed immediately that it seemed to be faster to wake up, faster to actually respond to my fingerprint and it just feels nice and smooth overall. So they're really working hard to make this a great phone. And this is one of my favorite phones of the year, the pixel seven pro. And this is just Google's case on the back here. So I actually purchased the case. Google sent me the phone and I reviewed it or unboxed it in a separate video, but I really like this Google case that I bought for it. It has metal buttons on the side and everything else. So there's tons of different updates in this update. Like I said, I didn't cover everything as this would be an hour long video, but one to keep you informed. And of course I'll link all of the other information in the description. Like I normally do. Of course, I'll link the wallpaper as well in the description. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.